Halifax Shipyard launches Royal Canadian Navy's 5th Arctic and Offshore Patrol Ship. The Royal Canadian Navy's 5th Arctic and Offshore Patrol Ship, the future HMCS Frederick Roulette, was launched today, December 9, 2023, at Halifax Shipyard. The launch of the fifth of six Arctic and offshore patrol ship for the Royal Canadian Navy marks a significant milestone for Canada's national shipbuilding strategy and the revitalization of the Royal Canadian Navy's combatant fleet. The 103-metre future HMCS Frederick Roulette transitioned from Halifax Shipyard's land-level facility to a submersible barge on December 8 and launched in the Bedford Basin. The ship is now pierside at Halifax Shipyard where work continues in preparation for sea trials and handover to the Royal Canadian Navy in September 2024. Inside Halifax Shipyard's facilities, the Royal Canadian Navy's 6th Arctic and Offshore Patrol Ship, the future HMCS Robert Hampton Gray and the first Arctic and Offshore Patrol Ship variant for the Canadian Coast Guard are under construction, with work progressing as planned. A generation of shipbuilders will deliver six Arctic and offshore patrol ship for the Royal Canadian Navy, two Arctic and offshore patrol ship for the Canadian Coast Guard, and 15 Canadian surface combatant ships for the Royal Canadian Navy as part of the NSS. Charles Frederick Roulette was born in Quebec City on September 23, 1785, and joined the Royal Navy as a midshipman while a young teen. He distinguished himself during the War of 1812, earning a reputation as a bold and quick-thinking officer. The historical canton of Roulette, located on the south shore of the St. Lawrence River, roughly 50 kilometers southeast of the town of Montmagny, Quebec, near the American border, was established in 1868 in his honor. Just before the outbreak of the War of 1812, 
Roulette was posted to Amherstburg, Upper Canada, now Ontario, as lieutenant in command of the Brig General Hunter. When word of the outbreak of war reached Amherstburg on July 3, 1812, Roulette acted immediately, capturing an American vessel, the Cuyahoga, before the American crew even realized that their country had declared war on Britain. This was the first action of the War of 1812 and a significant prize as the Cuyahoga carried the American Commander General William Hull's papers and dispatches. This provided the British with significant early intelligence on American strength and deployment. At a time when it was not yet customary to award medals to military personnel in recognition of conspicuous gallantry, Lieutenant Roulette was mentioned in dispatches by senior military officers on several occasions during the war. The Halifax Shipyard Limited is a Canadian shipbuilding company located in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Founded in 1889, it is today a wholly owned subsidiary of Irving Shipbuilding Inc. and is that company's largest ship construction and repair facility. The shipbuilders of Irving Shipbuilding have constructed over 80% of Canada's Navy at sea today. Work is now underway building the next generation of combatant vessels for those who bravely serve. Six Arctic and offshore patrol ships and 15 Canadian surface combatants will be built to replace the frigates built in the 1980s and 1990s. Two custom-designed AOPS for the Canadian Coast Guard have also been confirmed. Shipbuilding in Canada is creating jobs, driving innovation, and fueling local economies across the country. The work being done is a generational employment opportunity, generating a coast-to-coast-to-coast -to -coast -to -coast supply chain that has seen over $5.347 billion in investments.